the gospel itself is the message that will bring all cultures to their fulfillment. It's through the encounter which is essential for the mission of the Spiritan. The Spiritan congregation is a religious congregation of priests, brothers, and lay Spiritans founded by Francis Lieberman and dedicated to the service of the poorest and most disadvantaged in the world. Father Lieberman was very committed to the missions of the church, especially bringing the, the gospel to freed slaves in Africa and the Caribbean. So why do all these people from different backgrounds and different languages decide to live and work together? Because we believe in that common vision, the Spiritan mission to preach the good news to those most in need. Somebody likened being a Spiritan to being a feather, you know, to go wherever God allows us to land, to look at the people who are otherwise underserved and to serve them. At the heart, we are missionary. Whether we're here in the United States, whether we're overseas, that openness to the Spirit moves us out into the world. We go to a people not so much to work with them or to do something with them. We go to a people so that we can walk beside them, so that we can share our faith, we can share who we are, and we can uncover with them who they are. As a spirit and missionary, we call to hand over and to embrace and to bring people together and to train them and to delegate them. Spiritans in Taiwan is known for the capacity to empower the people. What makes me to be a spiritan as me is that for us to be with the people is not only just to be there, but to help them, to lift them up. Sometimes it's more our action, our service that speaks louder than our words about what is central to us. Any success that comes about is because the projects are generated from the local community rather than us figuring out what you need. We're also diverse in, in the talents that we bring to the group. PhDs, master's degrees, uh, first degrees, uh, high school, and we're all gifted in different ways. So if we go to a place where education is lacking, we want to build a school there, teach people you know, to do things with the gifts that God has given them. As Spiritans, no matter where you're placed, the first thing that you're to ask is, who are the people in the margins here? Reach out, form a relationship, and bring them towards the center. Bring them in. The journey to this way of life is a long one. It involves several stages. You are not just observing. Uh, you are asked to live the life, you no, know, try to live it. At the end of the day, when we leave, we want these people to be able to stand on their own and continue to live uh, out the gospel message. Come to the Spiritans and you will be immersed in the school of learning how to love all people and how to communicate that love in and through the way you relate to them. It is tied to a calling, a calling from God. It is, it is, it is tied to evangelization, that we are, we, are, we are tending to the spiritual needs of these people. We don't think of ourselves as the ones providing for these people. God is providing for them and doing so through us. I think the, the, the church is in need of more missionaries in that respect today. And I think that's the opportunity that we have as Spiritans to reach out to young people, to say there's something exciting here for us to work on together. We see a lot of things happening in the world today. We see a lot of crisis in our cities, in our world. So people need that message of hope. The support that our benefactors bring to this enables the Spiritans to go into communities to help them to establish a basic foundation for living that eventually can be sustained. And as much as that has been done, there's so much more that still needs to be done. It is so impressive to watch Spiritans in their fundraising efforts and the way they put the dollars to effect. They make every dollar work. We invite people to support the Spiritans, not because we want money. We want them to be part of our mission. Being a, a Spiritan is not a club or a closed group. Everybody who has a desire to be a Spiritan is, is welcome. There couldn't be a better investment in fostering the good of the world as God sees it than supporting the missions of the Spiritans. I look back today and I think I've made the best decision in my life.